Hi, I'm Lex, and in this brief presentation, I'll reveal 20 DIY projects which changed my life, as they took me from dreaming about a self-sufficient lifestyle away from the troubles of modern society to living the dream, taught to me by renowned off-grid specialist Mark Johnson. These projects allow me to live on my homestead with my family, with enough food and water to have a comfortable life outside of society, just like our ancestors. But unlike those folks in the past, we also enjoy modern luxuries, our phones, laptops, even TV. They're all powered by our own renewable energy generators. And instead of paying over $30,000 to get those installed by an electrician, I did it all by myself, thanks to Mark Johnson's unique off-grid plans. Now, as promised, I'll reveal these projects to you in a moment, where I'll cover how to grow limitless food, harvest plentiful drinkable water, and generate free power out of your backyard. I'll also reveal what makes them so unique, because they're not just heaps cheaper than out-of-the-box survival solutions like freeze-dried food or diesel generators. They're also stronger, more adaptable, and easier to understand than solutions built and installed by profit-hungry enterprises like solar panels and water pumps. Now, keep in mind, you can't find this information anywhere else, since these projects follow a unique secret Mark stole from the U.S. military, and he only teaches this stuff to his private students, like me. Until now. Because Mark believes the American people need to cut their reliance on existing fragile food sources, water utilities, and greedy energy companies. Now, more than ever, just flick on the news for proof. So, Mark asked me to release them. That way, they'll inspire others to follow the same path to self-sustained living. But what makes this reveal different from what's already out there? Well, instead of finding 16,000 absurdly difficult projects that are mostly just paint job edits of the exact same design with inconsistent building methods, We've narrowed it down so you can start straight away with the 20 most essential projects to live off-grid to give you the ultimate shortcut. After all, why have 100 designs when one is enough, particularly if it's the best one out there? And it's these projects Mark's clients pay him top dollar to learn because they're simple and quick to make, some of which a fifth grader could build in an afternoon, cheaper than out-of-the-box solutions from survival stores or installations made by electricians and plumbers, adaptable to fit any need and any family size, even if you've limited space to work with like a city apartment, resilient even after 20 years of constant use. And now, for the first time ever, I'll give away these 20 plans for free. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Lex Andrews. I used to dream about a quiet life off-grid, away from the troubles of modern society. But this dream, it just wouldn't take off, because I never knew where to look. Sure, there are plenty of resources in magazines or online to buy yourself an off-grid lifestyle, which are either ludicrously expensive or of doubtful quality, sold by fork-tongued salesmen you wouldn't believe did an honest day's work in their lives. I thought my off-grid dream was impossible. Until I met Mark Johnson in 2018. Let me tell you. See, Mark doesn't just talk the talk. He's been a preparedness instructor, off-grid consultant, and survival writer for 20-plus years. He's the director of the Survival Brain Trust, program manager of his local community emergency response team, CERT, and CEO of Survival Sensei, LLC. You may have heard of him, since he's also appeared on radio shows, vlogs, podcasts, and survival expos all over the country under his pen name, Cash Valley Prepper. And when I met him, he was a celebrity speaker at PrepperCon 2018, the premier prepper event in the nation. You see, self-sufficiency is in Mark's blood. He grew up scouting, hunting, camping, backpacking, working archaeological digs in the desert southwest, hiking the Swiss Alps and Scottish Islands, and building a Boy Scout camp in Portugal, only accessible by boat. He even taught desert survival to the commanding officer of the Brazilian Air Force Jungle Survival School. When I bumped into him, after he'd spoken to thousands of people, I asked him about my dream and the hardship of making it come true. Is self-sufficiency an unaffordable pipe dream? The answer surprised me. See. I was already down on my luck. I had just started my business and money was tight. I'd got the feeling it took a lot of cash, time, and effort to go off grid. Paying for generators. Paying for an electrician to hook up solar panels to my power supply. Paying for a digger for a well and a plumber to connect it to piping. And then paying for repairs and maintenance on them forever. Because I wouldn't know how to do any of this myself. Plus, I never knew how and where to start. And it hurt because I'd seen countless examples of people living this way. Normal families, 100% independent with their own food, water, and power. Yet it felt like something I could never achieve. But when I explained my predicament to Mark, his response shocked me. Because 20 years ago, he was in the same boat. Even when earning a decent penny running his IT company, 
He discovered he couldn't afford all the survival gear, food stockpiles, and water stashes dishonest profiteers told him he needed. And 14 years ago, he found he didn't need to. Because in 2004, the U.S. Army also discovered it had a similar problem in the field for supplying its army with food, water, and energy. That's when Mark based his DIY philosophy on the new organization of our armed forces called Modularity. We find the concept in every branch, from logistics to weapon design. For example, in 2004, our military changed from its old World War I structure that used divisions to one that used combat brigades, which were smaller but more numerous and flexible. This allowed the military to concentrate its efforts by adapting its structure to the mission at hand and ensure our troops got what they needed. And in a similar way, Mark adapted the military's secret system for civilians. Because there's no way a civilian can compete with our armed forces, the best equipped and best funded organization on the planet. So instead, he redesigned the concept of modularity for civilians to SCAR. That's simple, cheap, adaptable, and resilient. Let me explain. Simple is the first part of SCAR, and it's the most important to get started. Because going off grid isn't rocket science, far from it. Instead, SCAR focuses on using basic designs and eliminates unnecessary parts. And unnecessary parts are what lots of out of the box off grid products are full to the brim of. See, companies put these on their products to differentiate themselves from the competition, but often they're just useless baubles that won't get you anywhere in the field. And the more features a product has, the more likely something can go wrong. Which is why simple is one of the core tenets of SCAR. Nothing fancy, just the essential parts. Next up is cheap, because as Mark discovered when running his IT company, it would have taken millions to supply a long-lasting stockpile of food. See, a one-year stock on freeze-dried survival food alone can cost $7,500 per person. Yet, for less than half that amount, you can rustle up SCAR wicking beds or Wallapini greenhouses to grow and barter your own food. Then, make a DIY freeze dryer to preserve it all for more than 25 years. And on top, build a root cellar doubling as an underground bunker to store the food. Plus, still have leftover money for a home solar system to power a TV while you chow down. Just goes to show how much money you can save or make if you include bartering leftovers. You'll find out more about these projects in a minute. But for now, let's talk about the third aspect from SCAR. Proof, it's not the strongest to survive, but the most adaptable. Adaptable means projects can be changed to whatever you or the situation requires. As Bruce Lee said, be like water. Always change with the situation, never remain stagnant. For example, if your solar panels don't provide enough energy to run your appliances, don't sacrifice your appliances. Simply add panels to the system to increase the power output instead. When it comes to survival, income should adapt to meet expenditure whenever it can, not the opposite. You can't do this with most commercial products, which only fit the specific purpose they were built for. But, the second advantage of adaptability is also efficient resource management. Because out of the same PVC pipe, screws, and tools, you can build a power-generating windmill, a water pump, or a vertical garden. Three entirely original projects, which give you food, water, and power, yet still use the same parts. And third, less specialized parts means less clutter in your home. Which makes my wife happy, as there's no debris or tools cluttering our household. But what really makes her brag to her friends is my new ability to keep everything running smoothly. I'll explain this now, as resilience may be my favorite advantage of the projects I build. Because since you build them yourself, you also know how to repair or strengthen them when needed. Compare that with things you buy, like a generator. Should it fail, would you know how to take it apart and repair it? Or how to make it run silently if needed? Well, thanks to the simplicity of these designs, by removing the bells and whistles, there is less chance for something to break. For example, imagine a modern Chevrolet with fancy electronics, start-stop systems, electronic handbrakes, adaptive cruise control, lots of gadgets, lots of things that can break and make the car inoperable until a technician hooks it up to a computer. Now, picture the Cubans who are still driving American cars from the 1950s to this day. Why? Since they're easy to work, spare parts are abundant, and they only need the essentials to run. Just like those cars, parts of these projects are all interchangeable. This means I'll always have spare material around. After I learned the theory of SCAR, I put it into practice and quickly built my off-grid dream in less than a year. I couldn't believe how easy and cheap it was because I wasn't good with my hands before, having built nothing other than IKEA furniture before 2018. And yet now, I was building all of Mark's projects as if it were nothing. That's because the designs themselves were so simple. Here, let me show you, as I'll finally reveal Mark's 20 essential DIY projects. You may want to take pen and paper to note these down, because first up are 
Four projects that slash sky-high energy bills. I'll admit, the chief reason I wanted to go off-grid in the first place was to save money. And one of my biggest cash sinks was what I spent on energy. Even with a wood stove to take care of heating, I was still looking at $1,500 per year to heat my water, run lights, and power my freezers. So, after Mark taught me how to make four SCAR power projects, I could finally break up with my power company and save up to $1,500 at the end of every year. Now, the first thing Mark taught me about generating electricity is, nowadays, it's a lot easier and cheaper than when he started. Thanks to high-capacity batteries and cheap components like motors and solar panels you can order on Amazon. This means you can now DIY what would have needed an expensive electrician before. First, let me show you how to make huge savings with a modular solar power system. Do you know how much a professionally installed 10 kilowatt home solar power system will set you back? About $30,000. And if you think that's a lot of money, hang tight, it doesn't stop there. As Nevada resident Richard Stewart found out after he had his solar panels installed. See, he made a crucial mistake. He trusted his energy company to play by the rules. In a classic bait and switch, they motivated people like him to invest in solar energy with promises of saving money. But then the power company introduced a punishing monthly fee specific to solar power users on top of their energy bill, which made it more expensive to generate electricity through solar panels than regular means. So, how do we avoid becoming a victim? It's easy. Stop relying on power companies and expensive contractors altogether. You know how much it cost me to set up my own 10 kilowatt home solar power system based on Mark's design? Less than a third of what I would have paid a company or an electrician. And this design is incredibly easy to build, even if you've never dabbled in DIY. Plus, Mark's system is highly modular. Not only is it easy to add more batteries for storage or panels to increase its power output, but it's designed to be dismantled in a pinch for transport or to keep it safe from a hailstorm. And even if I forget to take it in and the hail smashes it up, then no worries, since you can easily replace the panels. Speaking of storms, how to harvest lazy power with a 100% scavengeable wind turbine. Technology dominates our homes, yet it also ends up in thrift shops or junkyards. But hey, one man's loss is another man's gain. And that's especially true for this SEAR project. This set up and forget method of collecting energy is easy to build and can run day or night, provided there's enough wind. Not that you need a lot, since this wind turbine's motor only needs a breeze to output 100 watts and store it into batteries to power your appliances. You can also scavenge this unique, low-resistance motor for free for most junkyards, at garage sales, or for cheap on websites like Amazon. Keep watching if you want to find out what type of motor I'm talking about. But for now, if you want a reliable way to generate loads of power, this next project can't be beat. Keep batteries charged 24-7 with this hydropower plant. People have manipulated water to generate energy since at least 200 BC. But back then, the ancient Greeks and Romans used it to power food processors and factories directly. Nowadays, we use electricity, which we store in batteries to use when needed. Plus, running water has the potential to charge those batteries endlessly. Winds die down, and the sun doesn't burn bright every day, depending where you live. But water from a reliable source keeps running. Like the wind turbine, this hydropower design exists entirely from scavenged parts, making it extremely durable and cheap. Just like its ancient brother, this design can power homes for generations. But what if you don't have access to running water? What if the wind is down, or the sun is out, and you need power now? Get instant power from a DIY generator. If you need power instantly and your renewable energy is down, that's when a generator comes in handy. However, with a generator, you're stuck with one fuel source, namely gasoline, diesel, or propane. So, what do you do if you can't find any more fuel for your generator? This happened in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria knocked out the grid, and millions of Puerto Ricans use diesel generators to power their homes. But, because of the ruptured supply lines, this led to diesel shortages. This meant lots of those generators ended up as glorified coffee tables. So, how do you avoid this from happening? Simple. Build your own SCAR generator that matches whichever fuel is available. It's simple and cheap. As you'll find out later when I tell you how you can build these emergency generators yourself, for just a fraction of the cost of a mass-produced generator, along with the simple wind turbine, durable hydropower plant, and cheap home solar power system, but first, let's talk about feeding ourselves and our families. How I feed my family with homegrown food from a small garden. Nothing highlights the importance of food self-reliance more than what happened in Venezuela, when hungry citizens had enough after years of food shortages because of a disastrous socialist government. They finally had enough and came up with their own fantastic solution. Despite living in a dense city, they made their own gardening societies in its midst, from balconies and rooftop towers 
to small patches of wasteland in between apartment blocks. Their urban gardening techniques kept entire communities alive. Inspired by these people, defiant of their lot in an oppressive regime, Mark created four highly modular SCAR food projects. And as a result, you could build some even on a one square foot balcony in the city. But let me get the largest of the four out of the way first, which fits perfectly in a medium sized garden. The underground Wallapini greenhouse. The biggest advantage of this greenhouse is it can grow summer vegetables like tomatoes, bananas, and nutritious avocados, even in winter. This is because its design harnesses and stores the heat from the sun while being less fragile than a typical glass greenhouse, which makes this greenhouse ideal for generating barterable goods when good old cash is worthless. Plus, like all others, this design follows our trademark SCAR philosophy, which makes it 100% constructible from readily available materials, which I'll show you how to get shortly. But first, a project that's ideal for anyone with less space or wants to save water, the raised wicking bed. Since this garden is raised on top of a water reservoir, you only need to water it once every two to three weeks. It's so efficient, it also uses up to 50% less water than a conventional garden, which makes it perfect for dry climates. Or if something happens, which makes water scarce. Next up is a project which takes even less space, the adaptable square foot garden. As the name implies, this garden soil is divided up into areas of a square foot. I love this design as it offers a lot of adaptability. Since you can grow many different crops close together, you can opt to use companion plants. These will support each other, provide nutrients, and keep pests or weeds at bay. This also ensures less fertilizer is used and gardens are easier to manage because crops are closer together. It's perfect for bigger crops like cabbage and potatoes. Plus, you can combine it with the Wallapini greenhouse to grow easy to manage summer crops in winter. But, if space is very limited, like in a city apartment, you need something which doesn't occupy a lot of space. That's when you need a vertical outdoor farm. Have just a couple of square feet of space on a balcony in the city? Then, this is a perfect method to grow food vertically. This is how you grow food, even on an apartment balcony, to cut your reliance on groceries or keep your 14-day stockpile of canned food lasting longer. No need to bend down to water this garden. It's also perfect to grow herbs or medicinal plants for your apothecary. I'll show you exactly what you can do to recreate these four projects in your own home. But, growing food is only one side of the coin. The other is storing it for lengthy periods of time. Three proven-to-work projects for long-lasting food. Refrigeration is a common and convenient way to keep food safe to eat. But it's also awfully fragile during power outages. That's why many preppers stockpile MREs, canned, or freeze-dried foods. But these stockpiles also need to be consumed and replenished before the dreaded expiration date which isn't self-sufficient as you depend on the grid to resupply them. Plus, it's expensive. If you want to maintain a balanced food stockpile of tasty freeze-dried food from somewhere like Mountain House, you're looking at $624.99 to feed a single person for a month. I need not tell you how the math looks when you extend that into years or decades. As Mark told me, even when he owned his IT company and made a lot of dough, he couldn't finance a long-term stockpile of freeze-dried foods and MREs. Fortunately, there are ways to create your own food stockpile, using homegrown foods which can be stored without refrigeration. Now, I'm about to reveal three projects to you, one of which is a super reliable method our ancestors used, while the other two are improved modern preservation methods. One uses the principle of sun drying food, but does it way faster. The other uses the industrial method of freeze drying on a small scale. That's tremendously cheap when compared to commercial freeze dryers. This melding of new and old makes for a fantastic combo and is what SCAR is all about. First, we have the off-grid solar dehydrator. Use the free power of the sun to dry your food quickly and efficiently so it'll last for years. Compared to regular sun drying, using a dehydrator lets you dry food much quicker. Plus, it's 100% electricity free. I personally use this dehydrator to preserve the fruits, veggies, and herbs from my SCAR gardening projects, which I then store into the next project. Stock food the old way with a root cellar. The root cellar is one of the oldest known methods for storing food and is still a very effective one, which is why it's so popular with homesteaders, preppers, and enthusiasts of traditional culture. While best used for storing vegetables, fruits, nuts, and other foods, this design also comes with a twist, and it also doubles as an underground bunker for me and my family. If by now you're thinking, Lex, I'm a carnivore, enough about veggies, how do I store my beef and bacon? Well, no worries, I'm a meat eater too, and I do fine off-grid. Here's how. Store meat without a fridge? Freeze dry that steak. Meat in the fridge or freezer is always a risk, because what if the power gets cut and your pork chops start oozing on your beef? 
Plus, frozen meat only lasts you about a year maximum. And all that time, refrigeration draws valuable power from your microgrid. But what if I told you there was a better way, which keeps meat full of its original flavor and allows you to store food up to 25 years? This process is called freeze drying. But if you check the market for a small freeze dryer to put in the kitchen, it'll set you back more than $2,000. Yet, I built Mark's solution for less than half of that. Not only does this wonderful machine now fill my root cellar with delicious food that keeps for years, but as it shrinks down food, I can also store it in my bug out bag for a hasty retreat. Stick around till the end to see the materials required to build these projects. But first, I need to talk to you about water, our most vital resource next to the oxygen we breathe, and how to get it as free as air by tapping into natural reserves like the sky and ground. Harvest water for free and drink it straight from your tap. The importance of water storage is all around us. As the citizens of Cape Town discovered in 2018, because after an unusual period of drought, the city had a problem. They called it Day Zero, the day the taps were officially going to run out of water. People rationed water, but their biggest surprise was how much water they used. Ever heard this before? You only need a half gallon of water a day, right? Wrong. Here's why. See, drinking water is just part of it. In fact, it's just a tiny fraction of the water we need per day. You need water to cook. You need water to clean clothes and for hygiene. You need to water your plants and food sources. In fact, according to the World Health Organization, you need a minimum of 13.21 gallons of water per day, more than a bathtub per week for one person. And this took the good people of Cape Town entirely by surprise. Fortunately for them, day zero never came as rains brought relief in the nick of time. But it serves as an important lesson. You need a lot of water when the grid doesn't supply it to you. For this reason, I use five of Mark's projects to extract water from renewable sources then store it in large cisterns and modular collection systems, after which I filter it completely without chemicals and pump it around my home using Mark's simple plumbing system. Let me show you how. First off, dig a simple water well to tap into ground reserves. One of the easiest ways to get free water to your home is by tapping into groundwater with a simple water well. However, asking an expert to dig your well is expensive, as it costs up to $1,500 for a basic well. Fortunately, Mark's well is not only cheap at less than $150 worth of material, it's also surprisingly fast to build because of how simple it is, which allows me to quickly set it up at other locations like at my retreat. But what if your well runs dry? You need to store a sizable portion of water underground for emergencies. Store vast amounts of water indefinitely in a culvert cistern. The cistern itself is made from a culvert, a common piece of equipment often found at construction sites, which you can easily source in an emergency. Cisterns are extremely useful as they collect rainwater passively and in large volumes. It's also recommended to keep at least one cistern for emergencies like firefighting since this water can make the difference between life and death. Now, next up is another way to harvest rainwater. Collect water the lazy way with a modular rainwater collection system. While the cistern can hold colossal amounts of water, it's not as portable as the next system which takes adaptability from SEAR to the next level. This simple design collects rainwater efficiently and locks it into self-sealing tanks. As a result, you can easily take the tank out of the system and move it to wherever the water is needed. For example, a toilet tank or as a firefighting precaution. However, if you want to get all that water to come out of your taps, then you need off-grid plumbing, no electricity or plumber needed. It's quite easy to make your own plumbing system. I had zero experience with plumbing, but Mark showed me how easy it was when he taught me how to build this system. After I connected it to the culvert and modular rainwater system, I had water running out of my taps in no time. This makes watering plants, cleaning dishes, and bathing a breeze. Later, I'll explain to you how you can make it yourself, even if you're not a plumber. But before I get to that, here's the last water project, which turns impure water into clean tap water. Purify water 100% naturally with a biosand filter. To make all that collected groundwater and rainwater ready for consumption, removing harmful elements, but instead of bombarding it with chemicals like bleach or water purification tablets, there's a better way. This is where our biosand filter comes into play. It removes heavy metals, bacteria, viruses, and more from water, which makes it safe to use for cooking, washing, and drinking after boiling. And it's 100% natural and chemical free. Now finally, here are some more projects which are great to do with kids. They're simple and they're great learning tools. Plus, you can have some fun with them on top. Two quick and easy SCAR projects to finish in one afternoon. I need to confess something. When I first started out with DIY, building these extensive projects seemed daunting, and I felt stupid when I couldn't get a grip on them. So, I started small, with some of Mark's easiest projects. 
which are superb ways to go off grid. Defeat the heat waves with DIY air conditioning. Heat waves hit the U.S. more frequently as of late. According to data, we had on average about two heat waves per year in the 1960s. But now, we're looking at six heat waves per year. And especially if you're older, it's important to keep yourself cool as much as you can. You can do this with traditional air conditioning, but these need to be regularly serviced by a professional and are prone to breaking, leaving you hot and bothered under the sun. Luckily, it's astonishingly easy and cheap to make a cooling unit for your home. Mark based these cooling units on an ancient principle of combining terracotta and water. And if you're wondering how cheap these are to make, this air conditioning costs less than a six-pack of cold Budweiser from Walmart. Next, how to jerry-rig a radio like the POWs and WW2 prison camps. Information is key. As Lieutenant Colonel R.G. Wells discovered when he was imprisoned in a Japanese POW camp in 1942, being cut off from the outside world, he and his fellow prisoners craved news on how the war was going. So, he set to work, making his very own radio. Jerry rigging it from items he could scavenge around camp, he finally succeeded. And when he finally picked up a transmission, he hid away from the camp guards. It was the first news from the outside world he and his fellow inmates had heard in six months. This morale boost proved vital for their remaining days in the camp. Now, I've made a similar radio. Although, admittedly, my conditions were a lot less dire. But this radio is still incredibly useful. Knowing where to collect drinking water, where rescue operations are conducted, or weather info is vital in a survival situation. Nowadays, most of us use smartphones to get our news. But batteries run out, and internet connections depend on working infrastructure. And this is where radio comes in, the POW or foxhole radio, which doesn't need any power to operate it, making it the ideal off-grid companion. It's a fun and easy project that yields immediate results, and one I can't wait to do with my future grandkids. Now you've seen Mark's 20 essential projects to live off-grid. It's time to tell you how to build them yourself. And it's why Mark asked me to help. Not only because I know from first-hand experience how it is to build these projects as a DIY amateur, but also because I'm a professional architect. You know, someone who draws up detailed plans and sketches so people don't end up with crooked houses. Mark asked me to draw plans in such a way so people could assemble these projects as easy as IKEA furniture. Love them or hate them, IKEA lets ordinary people build complex structures through their sketches. But images alone aren't enough. That's why Mark also asked me to note down accurate measurements and list all the building materials for each of the 20 projects you just saw. And Mark, he wrote all the step-by-step -step instructions in plain, easy-to-understand English. The same instructions he gave me, a DIY amateur. Because while I was good at drawing up plans, building them with my hands was another matter. And it took Mark's directions to turn me from someone who left the assembly of my plans to others, to becoming the builder and feel in control of my creations. Now, these same instructions which Mark used to transform me into a DIY handyman, plus my professional images and measurements, we bundled them together with an additional five SEAR security projects into Survival Sanctuary. 25 quick and easy projects to grow food, harvest water, and generate power at home. Featuring 243 packed pages full of premium blueprints and simple step-by-step -step instructions with accurate measurements, imperial, and metric. Essential SCAR projects you can make using simple tools to create a truly self-sufficient home. With none of the fluff that riddles blogs, like pointless stories and opinions. Easy instructions even a fifth grader could follow to make these projects on a budget. High-quality blueprints, material lists, and measurements. That way, beginner level or DIY expert, you'll feel right at home. We tell you exactly what you need, down to the size of the vise, and with premium diagrams I made specifically for these projects. And five top-secret SCAR security projects. I wasn't allowed to mention in my presentation and, when you discover them in Survival Sanctuary, you'll know why. Including the modern variant on a medieval tool which can pierce through sheets of solid steel, how to deliver a stunning shock to anyone who gets too close for comfort with a simple modification to an everyday item you have at home. Install your very own alarm which, unlike an electric system, goes off with a bang. A DIY version of a flashbang used by SWAT officers to make suspects comply. Our modern interpretation of a silent hunting tool used by the natives of South American jungles and one method to hide valuables more secure than a safe, since it's 100% undetectable and blends into your living space flawlessly. And finally, what's promised on the cover of the book? Perfect for roasting roaches on your property. Read Survival Sanctuary anywhere, or print as many copies as you like, because it's a 243-page digital book. You can read it on your computer, or print it out as big as you want. Plus, scan or scroll through instructions without messing up your laptop or phone with greasy fingers. Now before you decide, stick around. 
Because to celebrate the launch of this book, we're also including three extras. These are great manuals I handpicked for you, together with the experts from Survivopedia, one of the world's largest survival websites who also helped us publish Survival Sanctuary. What's great is each of these manuals expands on a chapter in Survival Sanctuary, so you can bring your projects to the next level. And the good news is, we're giving them away for free. Bonus 1. The Shoebox Garden Our first free bonus shows you how to create a steady food supply when space is limited. This is especially valuable in urban areas like the suburbs and in cities. When a crisis hits an urban area, the first thing that becomes scarce is food. Therefore, it's vital to have a backup in place. Even a small garden the size of a shoebox might buy you vital time before rescue arrives. But even if you don't live in an urban area, this book is a brilliant guide to get you started with gardening on a small scale. Or, if you have family or friends living in the city, why not give them this book? When the need arises and food supplies take a hit, they'll thank you for it. I gave this book to my sister, who lives in the city, and now she's giving me fresh tomatoes every month. They're great. Bonus 2. My American Castle This second manual will do two things, educate and entertain you. Several sections even made me laugh out loud when I read them. But the actual techniques inside, straight out of Nam, are no laughing matter. Read carefully, as this Vietnam vet shows you how to make your own house or bug out location into a fortress every roaming bandit and looter will fear. The tips in My American Castle go great with Survival Sanctuary's security chapter, which will show you how to make security systems. However, My American Castle goes further by telling you exactly how to use them. I know one thing for sure. If the kid from Home Alone had read this book, the bad guys in the movie wouldn't have been around in Home Alone 2. Bonus 3. The Home Energy Rescue Plan What do you do after you've created something that generates electricity from the first chapter of Survival Sanctuary? You need to store that electricity. Want to know how? Then this book is for you. Our third and final bonus shows you exactly which batteries to use in a survival situation and which ones to avoid. Spoiler, it's a lot of the modern ones. With this guide, you'll be able to jumpstart your energy independence right away. Start small by storing energy in batteries and you'll already be more independent than your yesterday self. Don't miss out on these three amazing free guides. Now, you might be wondering, how much will this set me back, Lex? Great question. I'll give you a surprise. Because Mark could have amassed all the information in Survival Sanctuary and taught it in a weekend seminar for $2,500. Easy. There's a lot of demand for this from rich preppers who realize money doesn't buy bulletproof goods anymore. And Mark had several requests from them in the past to be taught these projects in private, for which they were ready to pay sizable amounts of cash. But up till now, Mark always refused them. He taught me back in 2018 since he wanted to help me. And in return, Mark asked me for help on bringing you this message because he decided not to do that $2,500 seminar. Mark wants every hardworking American to have this information. So, you can say no to greedy businesses who want to dig in your pockets. That's why we'll give away the Survival Sanctuary for just $50 in the future, which is already an insanely good deal considering what some are prepared to pay for this information. So, while others pay a total of $131 for the complete DIY off-grid package, which includes the three extra guides, you won't. Because you know, you get the three bonuses for free. And that's not all. Since it's our launch event, we're also giving you a special discount. Meaning you get the bonuses and Survival Sanctuary. Not for the $131 future customers will pay for the whole package with bonuses. Not even for $50. But for a single payment of just $37. Now, please keep in mind, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep this price up. Since our accountants are pushing us to raise it to $50 again, quickly. That means the only way you're guaranteed this ultra-low price is by ordering today. After you click the button, you'll be directed to an order form which is secured with military-grade encryption to keep your data 100% safe. Then, we will guide you to your purchase, which will be a digital version of the book. You can download it and read it on your computer, or print it out as big as you like. What's brilliant about a digital book is that you can have several printed copies, so you can keep one in your home, your bug-out location, or even give some copies to friends and loved ones. My kids are all about smartphones and e-readers now, so they love this kind of stuff. Luckily, it's just as simple to use as a printed book. And even in the extremely, highly unlikely event that you're not absolutely thrilled by Survival Sanctuary or somehow the projects don't work for you, just send us an email within 60 days and we'll refund 100% of your money without delay if you act now. No questions asked. You'll even get to keep the digital copy of the book and bonuses, so I'm actually taking more of a risk since you could take $131 worth of books straight out of my wallet. There's zero risk. So, the way I see it, you have three options. A, you don't buy Survival Sanctuary and instead hope to find another road to the off-grid life. 
Just like me back in the day, you'll probably look for the quickest and most efficient shortcut to achieve the dream. But take my word for it as someone who has wandered the internet and read countless self-sufficiency books. Something that works as fast and cheap as Mark's SCAR Principle and Survival Sanctuary may be out there, but I never found it. Perhaps you'll have better luck, or not, by which point it'll be too late and this $37 deal will have flown by, forcing you to rely on expensive stockpiles, prepackaged off-grid solutions from China, and a home cluttered with survival gear. Until one day, your stash won't cut it. Then what? In short, ignoring this message is the best option if you think your stockpile will last forever or you've zero interest in self-reliance. B. You know self-reliance is key and want to complement your stockpile with your own supply of food and water. But instead of paying $37 for a surefire shortcut that gives you the cheapest and quickest route to self-reliance, you'll struggle on your own. You could try this. Why not? After all, I've given you all the projects you need. I even suggested writing them down on pen and paper. But you'll waste a lot of time on trial and error. And I guarantee it'll be impossible without the instructions and visuals you find in Survival Sanctuary. I should know. I've been on that journey myself. And if I had Survival Sanctuary from the get-go two years ago, I would have gotten so much further by today. C. You know self-reliance is key, and you want to get there as quick as possible with the proven SCAR method. But time is limited, so you could choose to pay $37, less than a single tank of gas, for a guide that'll cut your costs on expensive grocery and utility bills forever. And you know now is the best time before the price goes up to $50 after the discount expires. Remember, this is what you get. Survival Sanctuary, a condensed DIY off-grid Bible with tons of detailed illustrations and blueprints, simple explanations, and clear measurements. Featuring tried and tested designs, I've adapted myself to be more robust, take up less space, and, most of all, are simple and cheap to build. Plus, you get three amazing guides to boost your self-sufficiency for free. Guides that won't be available forever. And all of this will be yours for the low price of $37. Keep in mind, I can't keep this offer up for long, and I'm being pressured to bring it up to $50 again soon. So, if you want to access 25 quick and easy projects plus 3 free bonus manuals for the lowest possible price, I suggest you do it now while this video is still up. Thanks for your attention. Lex Andrews. Frequently Asked Questions. Answered by Mark Johnson. I'm not a handy person. Is this book still for me? Yes, this book is very beginner friendly with clear diagrams and instructions. It doesn't use any so-called DIY lingo, so it's not reserved for elite handymen. Even if you're faced with a more difficult project in this book, there's nearly always an easier alternative in the same chapter. For example, if the improvised generator made from car parts is a bit too complicated, then I'd advise to start with the wind turbine or the water wheel. Like Lex said, you don't want to be dependent on one source, but with just one of these, you're already better off in an emergency than 99% of people. Here's an extra hint. Just print out the pages of the project you want to start with and go to your local hardware store. Show it to a helpful employee and ask them for help. They can help you get everything needed for the project so you can start right away. I've tried other DIY guides before but wasn't happy with them. What makes this one different? Lex was in the same boat. He read plenty of DIY guides and posts on the internet and most of them didn't help. That's because these guides often say what you should do but neglect to say how to do it. They also made him feel like an idiot by using obfuscation and technical terms he didn't understand. Even Lex, an architect, told me these guides are unnecessarily complicated. That's why we wanted to put out a guide that did things differently. And instead, make the process as easy as possible for the reader. So easy, in fact, even a teenager could pick it up and start tinkering. I don't have a lot of time, and 25 projects sound like a lot. Do I need them all to go off-grid? I would recommend doing at least one project per chapter, but don't rush it. Building this stuff is part of the enjoyment. Some of the projects can be completed in less than an hour. Some might take you an afternoon, but none of them require more than a long leisurely weekend. Buying the tools, the raw materials, isn't that expensive? No, not at all. First, the book is just $37. Now for some people, including myself, that is a lot of money. But see it as buying a tank of gas, which is more than $37. You put gas in your car because you want to go somewhere. Same with the book. You buy it because you have a goal. You're driving on the road towards independence. The tools are not specialized. They are common things like hammers, screwdrivers, drills, the stuff you need to have in your home anyway. As for the raw material to build the projects, we chose cheap but good quality materials. Nothing fancy or expensive because it's all about being able to repair and replace parts with materials you can find lying around. I'm not in America. Can I still use this book? Absolutely. Whether you're in North America, South America, Europe, 
or any of the other continents, except perhaps Antarctica, you can build the projects in this book. But be sure to double check with the laws in your country or state before you build certain projects to make sure they're legal. The instructions in this book are in simple English, and we use both imperial and metric units everywhere. And no matter where you live, you can get the material and tools needed. That's how commonplace they are. The book is digital, so it requires no shipping. As soon as you order it, you can download it on the spot. And you'll receive an email with the book as well, so you'll never lose it. I hope you make the right choice. Thanks, and God bless. Mark Johnson.